Rock stars, Eric Andreas, your guitar sage for part two of Beat It, where today I'll be showing you how to play that fun little solo that anybody can play. Actually, anybody can play it, but it is a fairly difficult solo, especially the timing and that sort of thing. So we are going to dig into it here. I'm going to show you my interpretation of it, because gee whiz, Eddie Van Halen plays pretty darn fast, uh, but I'll give you my interpretation of it as I'm hearing it. We're tuned down a half step to D sharp so that we're in the original key. You won't want to tune your low E string to that and then tune the rest of the guitar accordingly. Okay. If you don't know how to do that, I'll show you how to do it for free in my free lesson series, yourguitarsage.com slash 30. Okay. Link for that will be in the description of the video. Okay. Without further ado, let's get into this. So the chord progression happening is in the background, it's all that in E, it's technically in D sharp, but we're saying it's in E because it's the way the guitar feels, but we're tuned down a half step. And I'll be, I'm going to show you all the bits and pieces here. Okay, so to start off, uh, what Eddie does is he dives the whammy bar. So he starts off really low, and this is the second fret of the third string. Okay, he starts off really low, picks it, raises it up and then bends up uh, a whole step. So it's going to sound something like this. It's going to start down here. Okay, I'm going to probably give this a little bit more juice. So technically that's the note that he's in there, okay? That's, that's number one. Then he's going to slide up. Slide up to the seventh fret, same string. So you're going to go. A little vibrato. He's going to tap the 14th fret. Slide up to the ninth fret, tap it again. So all together that lick should sound like Pretty cool, right? All right. Now the second lick is going to look something like this. Okay. Let's talk about it. Basically, you are going to be fretting strings one and two, and the frets are 10, 12, 14, and 15, okay? And it's gonna go in this order. Play that for you again, it's gonna go. That's the first part. If you can get that part, you're good. Okay, so it's like. That's the first part, okay? Three times on the first string. Second string, it's the same riff. Start with the pinky. Okay, so together. Okay, that's 12, 13, 12. Okay, that's the second lick. All right, let's look at this third lick. This is where most folks bail out and they go, I can't do this. You can do this, okay? If I can do it, you can do it. I used to suck at guitar, now I just suck a little less uh, compared to some folks out there, right? So we're all on a continuum and you can do this. It's just a matter of practice. That's really all it is. Now, this is a fun one. It's, it's very challenging, mega stretch. First time I played this, I was like, who thinks like this? Eddie thinks like this. That's who thinks like this, okay? Uh, strings one and two, and the, the stretch is 12, 15, 19 on both strings, 
okay? So if you're wondering what frets, it's 12, 15, 19. That's all there is for this particular lick. And it goes something like this. <laughs> show you the first part of that okay and it's gonna go okay pick the first note hammer the other two and then pick the 12th fret of the high E string it's helpful if you have that guitar on the on the left leg here or you're kind of where you can get underneath the frets instead of being back like this okay to be able to really get that stretch. If you got your thumb over the top of the neck, it's going to be really hard to stretch, so drop that thumb, okay? Uncomfortable? Yeah, it is, but you'll get used to it, okay? So, so hammer, or play, play the first note, 12th fret, hammer 15, 19, and then hit that 12th fret of the high E string. Now here you're going to go... Let me do that again for you. The rule is if you can pull it off or hammer it, then do that. Otherwise, you're going to have to pick. So we got we're picking the first note. Okay? And then you're going to do that twice more or the second part twice more. So you're going to go So the first part Second part, third part, that's how I think about it, and I think about it like it's done three times, so. Cool. Fourth, fourth uh, riff here. Okay, so this part's going to go. 12, 12, 1 and 2, strings 1 and 2. You can bend this up a whole step, resolve it, and then pull off to 12, so. Then you're going to come up here, 15 on the second string. So bending to 17, resolving to 15, pull off to 12. So. hammer with your right hand on that 15 and pull it up just like that to infinity wherever and beyond so and then you're gonna go so literally so it's gonna sound like the last little bit you're gonna go 14, bend uh, 14 to 16, and resolve, pull off to 12. And then 12 to 0. Okay, so it's going to go something like this. At least that's how I'm hearing it. So together, it's going to be... dive bomb there, you're going to pick the ninth fret, bend it up, that's how I'm hearing it, okay, it's all on the, the ninth and seventh fret. 
be hitting it twice like that too. I experimented with it both. They both sound fine. But after the it's up to you, okay? Then, now this is the fun part. You're gonna pick, this is all on the second string, uh, five, three, zero. And you're gonna be going. The idea is this, is you're picking five, pulling off to three, pulling off to zero. Technically, you're, you're whammy, whammying it down to a three, okay? So like, that's the note you're going. You're going to go. And you can hear he's doing a little change up there with with the um, with the rhythm, okay? So I'll take it from the lick before. That's the second one. Okay, next lick. Okay, so after we do this... We're going to hit the second fret of the third string, and there's going to be some nice vibrato in there. It's going to be a pinch harmonic. If you don't know how to do that, basically you're going to let the string graze your thumb. I have a video for this on YouTube. Just search Your Guitar Sage Pinch Harmonic. I'll show you how to do that. And you're going to bend it up as well. You're bending up a whole step while you're doing the vibrato and while you are doing a pinch harmonic as well. So. Okay. Next lick. More blues here, okay? You're bending up into the, you're going up into the uh, E position, a form one, and you're you're sliding you're sliding up from. Okay, so you're sliding from this position. I'm leading with my ring finger, and so I'm sliding to 14, and then I immediately bend it up. So 14, I grab this high E. Okay, then you're bending the second string, 15th fret, up a whole step. So um, let's see. for me because I forget how to play this unless I'm doing it all together okay so so we have what I just showed you then you're gonna go 12 12 15th fret bending up to 17 then 12 12 again so 12, 12, 14, bend up to 16, resolve. Pull off to 12, hit 14 again. So we got. Hey, free pinch harmonic right there. It's very quick. Pick up. Okay. okay, so now for the tapping part. This is uh, really fun, and uh, it's this part that goes after. So 
after that, we've got, technically, we've got 8, 12, 15. Now, I've seen interpretations of it to where the first lick, they bring that pinky up to the 13, but they both sound fine. So use your ear and listen to that isolated track. Uh, you, you can be the judge there, the final judge. Okay, so after... <laughs> So let's talk about that. So we have, the way you're going to lead this, it's on strings one and two. So the way you're going to lead this is you're going to tap the 15th fret first, which is very eddy, okay? So basically each time it's 15, 8, 12. 15, 8, 12. This takes some time to get, so don't get frustrated with it, but... And so I've, I've heard it where they pick that 13th fret the first time. You know, you be the judge. And then when he taps higher, so... Basically, you take your second fret, put it at the tenth fret, and tap seventeenth fret. Technically, he only does it twice. Typically, when I'm playing the solo, I'm I do it three times. It's what my ears hearing, but I think he only technically does it twice. Okay, and then there's a slide up. That's what he does. He goes. Do it slow. It has that open E string there, and then first finger of the twelfth fret, third or fourth finger at the seventeenth fret, second string. You're gonna bend that second string. To where you get that nice out of pitch sound, and then you got that nice alternate picking, tremolo picking run that goes. Okay, this is 12, 14, 15, 17, 20, and you're gonna bend it up a whole step. Oh, sorry. I forgot to add 19 in there, so 12, 14, 15, 17, 19, 22. Most frets, most guitars fret out at 22. So bend it up a whole step. Okay. That, my friends, is the whole solo. So now let me slow you down here for just a minute because I can promise you that you're gonna watch this video and you're gonna be like, I still can't play this solo. What's that guy telling me? I'm telling you that this solo is gonna take you a while to learn. So take your time with each one of the licks. It's such a fun solo to play once you do get it down. So it's absolutely worth it. Do it, take your time with it. You're gonna get this stuff. I know I did and all these looks I, licks the first go around, I was like, that's, uh, it's gonna be about impossible to play that. And it's not impossible. It's just a matter of practice. So you're going to get this, my friends. Please let me know how I can help you. I am passionate about helping people play the guitar. I want to help you, so please let me know. Leave your comments below. Thumbs up, please. And let me know, did I miss anything? Do you think I missed anything? Anything you want to add, leave those uh, comments below. Love you guys. Please let me know how I can help. Friends, as always, be kind to all beings. All if it's moving around, if it's not moving around, if it's alive, be kind to all of them. Do the right thing always. It's in your power to do that. And it's also in your power to watch more of these videos. So do that. I'll see you in another video, my friend.